I'm just, I was just going to show you guys my, uh, my thrift haul and find my channel so I can see chat if anyone wait for a few people to come in. Oh, Amelia's here. Hey, Amelia. <laughs> How you doing? <clears throat> see if anyone else comes in. Abril. Hi, Abril. Jean. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I went to the thrift store yesterday. They've been closed for a while. So went a little crazy. <laughs> mm. Got lots of stuff. Ooh, thrift store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love my local thrift store. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite place to shop. Hi, Sabrina. Anybody working on anything today? Doing anything? Anything exciting or fun or even boring? Oh, I just went and got all this stuff out of the van because I didn't feel like bringing it in yesterday. So I just went and got it. Show you one of the things I got, I think. I'm not sure if this is catnip or what. It's called Cat Studio. Oh, no. It's balsam. It's really cute. It's a little pillow. Comes in this really pretty little pouch. Let's see. I'm going to put chat down here so I can read. Trying to clean my craft table. Yeah. I'm going to continue to uh, clean out my craft room when I'm done with this. But it says... It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. That's what it looks like. Oh, hey, Curly. It's a crafty live haul. Yay. It's got little buttons on the back. Man, you can't open it. I got three, three or four of those. <clears throat> Pardon the throat clearing. And let's see what else did I get. Oh, this was in the, the free, the free uh, box. This thing of diamond wire. Hi, Nikki. Oh, you got your order. Wow, that was quick, quick, Nikki. I'm glad you got it. This is 12 gauge. 12 gauge wire. Got that for free. Hi, Kim. And this was also in the free box. It's a little village and it folds. I thought that was cute. So I grabbed that. There's the back. I thought that was really cute. I snagged that. Um, let's see. I got a bunch of little Christmassy things. I got these comes like this but what i really wanted were the metal pieces oh, sorry if that was loud ready oh that wasn't too bad so somebody took the time to attach all these metal pieces to bows and they're like little dangly things but i'm going to take them apart International Silver Company. Silver plated made in China. Well, that's pretty fancy. Let's see what else is there. Mm, there's a wreath. Oops. Let's see. Oh. There's a wreath. And a hi Jean. Good. How are you? I'm done showing this thrift haul. I have to get my butt getting my craft room ready because Chris is gone until Friday. Yeah, he's coming home tomorrow night late. So I have to finish up my craft room before he gets home. And then I grab this little bag. 
There's stuff in here that I do not like, but there's stuff in here that I love. Hi, Carla. Are you at the four letter word? <laughs> mm, rip the bag. Won't be reusing that bag. So the reason I bought this was because it has these little girly candles in it. Thanks, Jean. My thrift store is pretty good. Pretty good thrift store. And then it has Mary. So Mary and Joseph, I think. Yeah. And then it came with... Oh, it looks like a troll. It's from 1980. Rainbow Troll playing the drums. Well, this is nice, actually. Put that on my crush, my nativity. And a little tiny Mary and baby Jesus and a girl. So that's what's in that bag. I love girly candles. How are you going to handle the new YouTube loss? Um, I don't know. I haven't really even thought about it, to tell you the truth. I, uh, I think all my videos are pretty kosher, so hopefully it'll be all right. And then I got some more of the metal ornaments. There's a candy cane one. Double candy cane one. Some bells. And I got this adorable Raggedy Ann playing the drums. Raggedy Ann or Andy does not stand up. <clears throat> what else did I get? I got this bag of ribbon. This really pretty Let me move this out of the way. Raggedy and out of the way. Forty-five thousand dollar fine. Yeah. So here's <clears throat> excuse me. This is a pillow sham. Sorry, I rocked the table a little bit. But it's yellows and like a marigold color. I got two, two of those, I think. And got this pillowcase with this pretty lace edge. Not well, I guess it's lace, it's crocheted. Got that. And got this baggie with this looks like a doily in it. Thanks, Nikki. Mm. Oh yeah, this is pretty. It's a buffet scarf or a table runner. There's that. It's got the cut work, but it's not old because it's polyester. And it's got all the little flowers. You can cut those out. That's pretty long. Look at that. Fine for what? Oh, I think it's a fine for ugh, if you don't mark your channel, like for not and like a non-children channel, they can find you if you have any content that I don't know. So here's the napkin or hanky. It's got the blue, it's like a dragonfly. It's a little there. I think I picked up quite a few of those. And then I got this really pretty, <clears throat> this is another table runner. It's linen. Here's what the corners look like. I love it. Very Art Nouveau, my favorite. I love Art Nouveau stuff. 
And I got two of those. And then here's some more of those blue napkins. I was saying I had a bunch of three, so four of those. And then I picked a picked this up. This is probably this is the um don't delete your videos, just put it on private, right? Hi Sandra. Here's some blue flowers. This is probably the bread basket liner or a fancy hand towel. And Let's see what else is right here. This pretty tea towel with like a cameo cross stitched on it. And this, oh, I just love this. It's much prettier in person, believe me. There's that, it's cut work and like diamonds and stuff. Almost hankies napkins, right? <laughs> Almost. Not quite. A little growing up to do. Wish they were hankies. I love hankies. And I got this really nice um, vintage tablecloth. It's square. Here's what the corners look like. It's got a little bit of cut work around the edges. So pretty. Aaron, what am I doing? Angie, did you read the title of the video? I'm showing my thrift haul. What are you doing? I already know what you're doing. I already talked to you today. Just have to refold this now that I messed it all up. There's a lot of info out there how to do it safe, right? No, I didn't. Well, that would explain why you asked that question. And then another one of the pillow shams. Oh, and I got this uh, this button holder in the box. I love the box. I love the color on the box. And then it comes with all the instructions. And it comes with all the stuff to do buttonholes. It's a little machine. It's like a little tiny sewing machine. Isn't that neat? Love that. Little red wagon. Renee? Pretty sure that's Renee. And then I got some poker chips, but I can't open it yet because I have to use my heat gun so I don't rip the box. Aaron, are you going to make something with all your goodies? Or are you going to sell? Um, some of it I'm going to sell, and some of it I'm going to keep. But mostly, I'm going to sell. Like, I'm going to make some more dangles out of these. Throw some holes in those. While you, you shopping, you're making a mental shopping list, Miss Jean. And then I found this cute little fox in the... um in the free bin and his ear was broken but i took him anyway because he's so cute maybe i could put a little hat on him at a jaunty jaunty little angle cover up his ear so in the flower be cute angie's leaving all right angie talk to you later and then i got oh, like six or seven of these throw pillow cushion things. They were originally purchased at Ames for 48 cents. And I bought a ton of whoo, Christmas bags. Love that one. Some black and white ones. Oh, you're shopping, Angie? Cool. I like the cookie one, too. Cookie ones. See if the clauses are thicker with the handle. Three of these. One of those. And then I found some vintage wrapping paper. I found Trolls. This really sweet bridal shower one. Some more Trolls. Some more Trolls. 
and some cherubs, some totally 80s paper. This one's so cute, Mr. and Mrs. Lion, and some tulips. Coca-Cola bag, snack. Nikki, I haven't found anything. And then this really pretty fern. Looks like William Morris wallpaper to me. Thanks, Nikki. And then I found these, um, I think they're the window clings. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember these plastic? We used to stick them to our windows. And it was on this, um, it was in this box. There's all kinds of those. All right, Angie, bye. And then I bought these. These are Christmas stencils for the um, snow in a can. <laughs> these were at Obishant Hardware originally for $1.29. So let's see, what do we have in here? Oh, they some of them have never even been used. They're not even punched out. There's a wreath. Wreath. Um, candles. More candles. A choo choo train with holly and a snowman and little trees. This says greetings, it's snowflakes and a star. This says Merry Christmas. A stocking and candy canes. These have never been used. A bell, a Christmas ball, and some garland. The village with Santa driving his sleigh over the top of the village. Oh, what's this one? This one has been punched out. This looks like Bethlehem with the angel. Yeah. And another one of those. So those are pretty cool. What like those? Brand new. It's as bad as silly string. Well, I remember one year we put it on our um our storm door out front, and it was a um the window wasn't glass, and it was plastic, and it never came off. So it said. I think it said season's greetings for about 20 years on there. Yeah, whoops. Curly, you're zipping your lip. And then I found some, um, this is, uh, this is still open. I don't know how old these are, but it's a menu, or not a menu, placemat from a golf golf course not too far from here, Saranac Inn. And I have some other uh, paper placemats, so I might put those in a lot. And on this tray. It's big. So that's going to come in really handy. Um, and then I found her cheesy. So I want to open that up and see what that looks like inside. Grab this knife. I used to play it, but I can't remember what the pieces look like. I think they're just little movers, right? Thinking, what are you gonna do with the? <laughs> oh, well, these would be fun to drill holes in. I guess they're kind of cool. They're different. Make little dangles with those. Those are cool. And what's the board look like? I remember the board. It's got the squares, right? Yeah. Oops. Doesn't want to come out. Hey. 
quit falling out of here. Hmm. Why is it sticky? Don't stick. Don't be sticky. There we go. <coughs> There's the board. Boards are fun to make journals out of. Let me just pick up these pieces I dropped. <coughs> this bag can go. It's got old icky tape on it. It's a good old tape, the icky old tape. Can you use the board as a journal cover. Yeah, I did that with the Harry Potter puzzle box once. I made a journal out of it. And then I got this. It's called Scrutinize. Sorry, I bumped the camera. There we go. It's called Scrutinize. Let's open this up and see what this looks like inside. Oh, wow. These are so cool. You have to find certain things on the checklist. Things that begin with the letter H. Look how pretty that is. They're all front and back. I don't know what you're going to use the window clings for. Creativity is not strong with this one today. The window clings, you can use them like any die cut. They're just, they're basically just die cuts. That's what they are. Let me flip this around so you guys can see it. So they're like placemat size. Wow, look at this one. I did not know um, they were laminated. I would have bought them if I knew they were laminated. It's this it's a big board here. Oh, they're to put your things on. Well, it's pretty. That's, those are cool. Those big pieces of chipboard. I don't, think, I don't think this has ever been played. Here's the pads. Yawn fest. Oh, no. I'm not boring you, am I? Am I boring you? I'm sorry. Okay. So there's that. That's pretty neat. I like that. I just wish they weren't laminated. And then what's this? Oh, I found the cutest book. Look at the title. It's called Buttons. Isn't that so cute? Look at the people. I love it. And it still has the library pocket in the back. Buttons. Mm. And I don't say buttons. I say buttons. No, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> Good, Curly. Look at you. So chubby his buttons popped off. His best. <laughs> it's going to happen to me if I don't stop eating French bread pizza and burritos. Every day. Let's see, are there any more? Oh my. So, anyway, oh, look, we must have solved this problem. Yeah, oh, yeah, I got you. I got you. We, you wouldn't be, uh, you wouldn't be there if you didn't, didn't like it. And then I think. The crowning glory of everything I bought today, and I'm going to save this, I think. It's a christening. It's an antique christening set. There's the little bonnet, the gathered back. And then there's the little jacket. A little jacket. It has embroidery. And here's the little, this is so cute. The 
little dress that goes underneath. It's so dainty. It's got a little rip right there, but I don't care. It's got this netting that goes around the armpits and the neck. And look at the pretty. Is that inside out? I can't tell. Hold on. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. It was right side up. I put it inside up. And then it has this little bow right here. And then here's the, the lace around the edge. So isn't that just the cutest thing? I love it. So there's that. It's got the little puffy sleeves. With the netting that matches the hat, the collar. Yeah. Oh, just love it. <laughs> so cute. And I also, I didn't get this at the thrift store though. What does this say? Someone, some, this o -M -E -R here, oh, somewhere over the rainbow. <clears throat> it's this really nice quilt and it's got that soft, um, like minky fur in it. And then they embroidered somewhere over the rainbow on the top. And then here's the quilt. And the quilt is embroidered in the lyrics. That's how they quilted it. They quilted it with the lyrics of the song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And they used all different colors of fabric. Sorry, I'm moving the camera. But it's a baby quilt. And no, no one and no one I know is no one is pregnant. I just I loved it because of the song. So pretty. So that's it. That is everything. Oh, I picked up some towels, but I don't think you guys want to see towels. It's kind of boring. I thought I picked up a bag. Okay. What did I do with? Maybe it's still in the car. I thought I had like three of these. I wonder if they fell out. Hmm. Odd. I don't know. I don't know where they went. Hmm. Do I have another bag over here? Hold on. Let me look. Oh, I do. I have enough. <laughs> you have more stuff than that. More stuff, more stuff. <laughs> I knew I had another. More stuff. Hey, Dorinda. Yeah, that was a lot of work to make that quilt, wasn't it? So I love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, I love any Rankin Bass. <clears throat> um, those claymation movies from the late 60s, early 70s. So I grabbed this. Santa. Rudolph. There he is. So I picked him up and I picked up these really cool Fiesta Ware salt and pepper shakers. They're red. They're like red. Um, what's this? Oh, I thought these would be really cool on a journal. They are ornaments and I think I think they're glass. Oh, wait, this one's open. I think, kind of. Let's get it out. Can I just put this out there? I'm looking for a night. Okay, I'll look for you. I can do that. So they're glass. No, they're plastic. Okay. Yeah, plastic. I thought those would be cute in a journal. 
because they're flat. I have a bunch of those. And they're all different. Well, they're not all different, but there's a bunch of different ones. And then I picked up this little cross stitch, which I thought would be cute in a journal also. So there's those. <clears throat> and I grabbed him because he is adorable. <laughs> it's a little, he's like a sailor Santa with a monocle. He's so cute. <laughs> He's got the stopper in the bottom. I don't care that he's only one. He's cute. I grabbed him. I grabbed this little bowl, which I have to clean because it's filthy. But I'm a sucker for little things. Put the little fox. Put the little fox in the little bowl. Um, and then I grabbed this Aristocrat Hair Shaper Burmax Products. It's in a pink plastic case. You have a Jack and Sally. Okay. Don't. Yeah. He is a salty Santa. He is. He is. So this is what this thing looks like. Wait, there's something else in there. What else is in there? What's that? Oh, this is the, uh, the blade. <clears throat> but here's what it looks like. And then you put the blade in here and it's a hair thinner. You can use it to thin your hair. Cool. Oh, the blade's already in. That must be a, this must be a replacement blade. Aristocrat Burmax products. Isn't that neat? I grabbed that. My daughter has a black tree. Oh, and she did Jack. Cool. <laughs> yes, I love Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas. I love it. And then I found these really pretty Like, uh, let's see, these are Department 56 silver plated stars. There's this one, Ooh, and that one. Love those. Imagine how much those were brand new. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, here's another one of those, those pillows. This one says North Pole. And I picked up these quilted. This one was made in 1995 by Helen Mann. Where is that? It says Joy, Joy, Joy with three angels. And then this one was made by Barb Facto. Doesn't have the year though. And this is a little wall hanging. I thought this would make a sweet journal. Barber Safety Shave. <laughs> and then I picked up this box of angel hair. This is spun glass. Made in the USA. Pawtucket, Rhode Island. There's no date on it anywhere, but <laughs> made in the USA. And here's another one of those little pillows. This one also says North Pole. And I grabbed these really nice metal ornaments. There's a tree. They're like aged copper. These are from Russ by Russ. Still have the original tags on them. There were a bunch of these in the thing. <clears throat> Here's a moon. Moon and a star. Spun glass. I'm a little afraid of it. Glass shards and blades. What exactly are you making? <laughs> oh. Never tell. There's a pot holder. Scared of Aaron with a blade? You should be. Thank goodness it's a safety blade. And then I picked up this, um, it's, oops, what am I doing? Sorry, guys, sorry. Um, it's just a piece of fabric that somebody sewed to this pretty, I think it was a tablecloth. 
It's pretty fringe on. So I grabbed that because I thought it was pretty and it's vintage. And I grabbed this really pretty napkin. Christmassy. Let's see. This table runner. Pretty Christmas fabric. You can have all our white. <laughs> well, I want to have a white Christmas. And I grabbed these. These are placemats and they have a black ribbon woven around the edge. Waterford linens. I thought they were really pretty. Could do anything with those. And there's two of those. And then I found this set of tea towels. There's one, two, three, four of them. You know, like a gingerbread house. Sorry, my throat is dry. My voice is getting croaky. And my paranormal voices. Yeah, I know, Dorinda, we've had a ton of it too. And this wonky star. These. And another one of my favorite finds from the day, because I dig. So I found this in a container of um, uh, fingernail files and fingernail clippers and stuff. Look at these. They're like green faux mother of pearl with like inlay. They're little scissors. They cool. Grab those. And then I found all of these. I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> with them, but I bought them all. They were in a bag, and I just said, I'm just going to buy them all. So there's, there's, um, Aaron needs a vitamin water. <laughs> There's butterflies, like a ton of, oh wait, no, they're bows. I thought they're butterflies. Bows, and they have the little thing. I think they go in those trees, those ceramic trees. <laughs> um, so there's a bag of those. And what else? Let's see. These are the, uh, none of these have ever been opened. I hate to open them. I'm gonna... mm. I have one. Not a big one though, but I don't need a big one. These are like the flowers, like the There's those. I don't know if these are all different or no, here's another. And more bows. More bows. These are birds. These are birds. Plastic birds. And they're all different colors. They clip on Christmas lights. Clip on Christmas lights? How? They're like a little peg. There's no clip. I think they're, I think they're for like what Carlos said. That's kind of what I thought they were at first too, like the little reflectors, but then I, Changed my mind. There's some more of the flowery ones. And the last thing is more flowery ones. So there's those. And that is the bottom of the bag, my people. My friends. That is all she wrote. You should see my floor. <laughs> it's a mess.
There we go. Okay. Those are my treasures. Oh, yeah, I don't think they work. They're kind of bent at the tip. They're a little ate up. You guys see? So they need to be like cleaned. Display purposes only, I would assume, for these. <laughs> Pass then, lol. <laughs> Nikki, you're funny. So that's my haul, you guys. What was your favorite theme? That you should... Do you have a favorite thing? Oh, my hands are getting veiny. I don't like it. You like the fox? <laughs> All right, Carla. Yep, this is my comfy, comfy chair. Mm -hmm. The christening outfit. Yeah, wasn't that so pretty? So sweet. Yeah, that little fox is so cute. It's holding a little flower. The quilt. Yeah, the quilt with the uh, the lyrics sewn on there. Trying to think what I like the best. What did I like the best? Hmm. Probably the christening outfit too. Hey, that's it. I just got warmed up. <laughs> yes, I have to go finish cleaning my craft room. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. I hauled everything out. Well, not everything, but. Everything that was like on the floor and piled up. And um, brought it in the dining room to organize. So, yeah, I have to go pick up my mess because Chris is coming home tomorrow night. And if he walks into this mess, oh my, I think he might kick me out. <laughs> I would. It's bad. Bad mess. So, I will see you guys later. Mr. Foxy and I say have a good day. Thanks for spending some time with us. And I'll probably see some of you at Keisha's sale on um, Friday morning. I think 11. It's Creepy Baby Thursday. Oh, it's Creepy Baby Thursday. Yay, thank you for reminding me. Oh, I have something to look forward to. Yay, Brookie's Creepy Baby Thursday. Make sure you guys all go. I'm sure you'll all be there. Yes, thank you for mentioning it. <laughs> I'm so excited now. I love Creepy Baby Thursday. <laughs> Although it's going to be called something else probably starting next week, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, I'll see you at Brooks. Thanks, Jean. I'm going to need it because it's it's a daunting. It's a daunting proposition to get that done. Oh, baby. All right. Bye for reals. I'll see you later at um, Brooks and hopefully at Keisha's on Friday. Have a great day. Talk to you all later. Bye.